How does mobility impact performance? Mobility is crucial for all runners because it means that we can not only train those ranges of motion more effectively, but it also gives us a stronger and more efficient running stride. First, it's important to know the difference between mobility and flexibility. Mobility is the ability to move a joint through its entire range of motion with integrity and control. So it means that we can actually train it. We can output energy because we have full range of motion, whereas flexibility is just the passive movement of a certain muscle fiber or muscle group. So we can move it if it's being moved for us, but we can't effectively train it or actually use it with strength or integrity. So having proper mobility is crucial. It can make us stronger runners. It can make us stronger lifters. And if you can train stronger, you can run faster. So if you can train through active mobility, you can be a faster runner. Some common areas that might limit runners with proper form is having limited hip extension, having limited dorsiflexion with their ankles, and even having improper toe off, so big toe flexion, um, it can really impact the strength of a stride. Athletes can run faster when we have a stronger output. So the stronger we can hit off the ground, the faster we're able to propel ourselves forward. So with a greater range of motion to actually hit and respond off the ground, we can actually travel across the ground quicker. So if somebody has limited hip extension and they're not able to actually go from one stride to the next efficiently, it's going to greatly limit how much power they can actually output each step. And if their body's compensating for a limited something such as hip extension, then that's going to be a detriment in terms of how fast they're able to move their body through space. With running, if you have a limited range of motion and you're dealing with varying terrain, we don't always just run on a flat surface all the time. It's really going to limit your ability to climb a hill, descend a hill, or even be effective as you're moving across a flat plane. So the inability to engage your glutes, to really work your hamstrings and lean into the hill and get up and over is going to be really exposed if you have limited flexibility and mobility. So the greater you can train those areas and also just run more hills. And when you're not running, training your mobility, the better you're able to attack a hill.